The head of Abakiari's pro panel, DIG Joseph Ebunike, is dead. Hello everyone, you welcome to the news. Deputy Inspector General of Police, Joseph Ebunike, is dead. Ebunike died at the National Hospital in Abuja on Tuesday night after collapsing in his office. He added the Federal Criminal Investigation and Intelligence Department, FCIID, of the Nigerian Police Force. The deceased, who hails from Onicha, Anambra State, was also the head of the Special Investigation Panel, SIP, constituted by the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, to investigate Abakari, the suspended head of the Police Intelligence Response Team, IRT, over his illicit dealings with disgraced international fraud star Ramon Olonwa Abbas, popularly known as Oshpopi. Prior to his appointment as DIG in 2020, Ebonike was the head of the police finance department. The senior police officer holds a Bachelor of Science Arms in Accounting from the University of Nigeria, Nsuka, as well as a Bachelor of Laws, LLB and BL, a Master's in International Law and Diplomacy, and a PhD in Criminology. So that's the breaking news and quite shocking too, to learn that the man at the very top of the panel probing the disgraced and embattled DCP, um, a former super cop, as it was fondly called, called, has passed on. Now, people are asking questions to say, okay, he collapsed in his office. Would it have been medical reasons? Because a lot of reasons could be tagged along with it for a collapse that could lead to immediate death. And so, so many medical questions are coming up maybe to know about his medical history and all of that. And also, because as Nigerians and as Africans, we, we also believe there's something in, that happens in the, you know, the supernatural world, and maybe that's the reason why the man passed on. No one can tell. The news is still fresh, and we are waiting for more updates about this. The case of the disgraced um, and embattled um, Abakari is one case that Nigerians and the international community have shown interest in is going to dictate the tone of justice in our country and also that's exposed our police force and also different levels of governance in our country. If someone in the position of Abakari have known to have committed so many crimes allegedly and also been involved in alleged you know, um, bad activities in the society and some of the things they have done that some people are coming out to confess, then there's a lot to discover as it regards the police and law enforcement agencies in Nigeria. You can always say, as a way for more updates, to see if the replacement of the deceased head of the panel will be quick or it's going to take a long time. Whatever it is, we wish the family of the deceased the fortitude to bear the loss. And we hope that the case of Abel Kari would you know, go in the way of justice so that we can have, as ordinary citizens, we can have confidence in our police force and also in the law enforcement agencies in Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching, and like I will always say, God bless Nigeria.